So my name is Luke Smith, I'm the Engineering Programme Manager here at Engineers Without Borders UK. So Engineers Without Borders is an organisation that's set to engage and galvanise the engineering community to, to better serve people on the planet more than ever before. There's a huge global crisis that's going on and we have no planet B. And that's something that I think the more it's spoken about, the more people are aware of it as an issue. We're going to transform how people are wanting to work in the future and it will shape organisations as well. We'd really like for, the, for people who are moving into trying to help the problem to be educated enough so that they're aware of the best means to do so. An aspect of the work that I enjoy just now is one that I didn't think an engineer would typically have. Uh, I'm really lucky in, in the sense that I get to tour around the country and give lectures to lots of aspiring engineers or computer scientists uh, to get them excited about what, what it's going to be like in the future and how they have such a responsibility in their roles to shape the future as well. So when I was at school I had a slight aptitude for math and science which is what sort of led me towards engineering. If I'd known back then how broad engineering could be or how broad design and technology could be, I think it would have been a lot more motivating through my studies because it's not just someone sitting in an office doing calculations, it's a host of amazing different roles and even if you don't want to stay within engineering, the education that you get from that is probably one of the best in terms of where you can then want to operate. An engineering education or design and technology education I think is really applicable in a lot of different locations. So the great skill sets that you'll learn in design and technology is the ability to understand your end user, understanding who you're actually designing for, this is a key skill set. Also the technology and design is something that's so present everywhere that you're going to operate in. So the people that are in positions to shape where this technology is going essentially are shapers of the world of the future.